Inflation continues to be a concern with CPI values reaching as high as 7% as of December 2021, a level not seen since early 1980s. Now we have mentioned in previous market update videos that inflation levels are likely to rise and continue at various rate until the Fed begins to raise interest rate or at least hint that it's going to do so. One way to see the market outlook on this topic is by looking at the inflation link forwards. This is a financial instrument used by investors to hedge against future inflation. To better understand that, we look at the month to month change, moving average, and we see here the changes all the way from Q2 to Q3, um, where it actually peaked. So what do we think of inflation? We actually think that it has peaked and any further increase will be in modest levels, assuming the following factors remain constant. First, the Fed needs to follow through with planned interest hikes. So far, we're looking at four to five raises in 2022 alone. Second, the Fed needs to speed up its quantitative easing tapering, meaning they need to start easing down on that to the point where it ceases to happen. Um, for many of you who might be wondering what is quantitative easing, it's pretty much simple. It is basically a form of policy here where the central bank has been purchasing from the open market, meaning at a market price, longer term securities. The purpose behind it is to increase the money supply and sort of incentivize more growth in the market. These assets are usually longer term um, government bonds and uh, mortgage back, backed securities. The third factor we're looking at is unemployment. Now, we remember back in March 2020 when we had uh, unemployment reaching high of 14.7. Since then, the Fed made it first priority to stimulate the um, market economy in best way possible in order for it to go back all the way to full employment. Now, as per December 2021, we're looking at 3.9. Therefore, the Fed feels comfortable targeting inflation at this rate, going back to two to 3% annual.